the waterfall is fully loaded with digital signals and these signals and this frequency is not an FT8 signals. These are radio teletype, RTTY. It's not every day that you can see so many RTTY radio signals packed on the HF ham radio bands. Mostly it happens during big international radio contests like this WPX contest today entirely devoted for RTTY mode. The fact that so many people coming to this contest to take part means that RTTY mode, the first and the oldest digital mode in ham radio history, is still hugely popular and that is why the manufacturers of ham radio equipment include this mode into the menus of the radios even the newest and most modern radio stations like ICOM IC705. Hello guys, this is Linus Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Today I'm gonna talk about one secret feature of ICOM IC705 transceiver which enables this little radio to run RTTY mode without using a computer not only for receive but also for transmit yes that's possible just stay tuned and i'll tell you how come on what's the secret here it is possible already to transmit rtty straight from the radio by the means of transmit memories pre-recorded messages right right but up to the point yes you surely can transmit something pre-recorded from your radio straight to the air from the pre-recorded transmit memories which are eight of them in the ICOM IC705 which is pretty good so and as we all know during the contact in the during the QSO you have to you must to transmit at least once the call sign of other station you are in contact with with having just pre-recorded messages you simply can't do that so and that is a big problem because imagine you calling cq from your pre-recorded message if anybody takes my call and answers me and calls me and then i have to transmit the other stations the caller stations call sign in order to let him know that I hear him and that I'm answering to his specifically call, not the other station. The system with only pre-recorded messages simply fails in this situation. You simply can't quickly pre-record a new message into a memory bank and then to transmit this message. Theoretically, you could, but practically it would take a lot of time and the other station would, would think that, you know, you just disappeared and you're not answering him. Okay, got it. But still, what's the secret? I see the CW pedal and the wing gear on the table. And this is ain't any secret that wing gear is capable of generating RTTY code from the Morse code. So, you connect the wing gear to your radio and you go, right? Right, the idea of employing the Morse code pedal to generate RTTY code is not new at all. Elecraft radios like Elecraft K3 or KX2, others use it for many years now, and they have this functionality built into the radio. You just connect the pedal and you can go with CW, RTTY or PSK mode. ICOM does not. So, Winkier USB by K1 EL ham radio kits comes to the rescue. Winkier is a unique piece of equipment. It's worth of making separate video, which I'm probably going to do that in the future. Uh, originally, it's designed to use with your computer and to help your computer to generate proper Morse code. Uh, the latest model of Winkier 
is capable of standalone functionality and is capable of generating RTTY code from the Morse code using the CW pedal connected to the wing keyer. So that's a big news. Uh, so it means that uh, I can use wing keyer to generate my RTTY code. And then the only problem and the secret is where to connect the signal from wing keyer to the ICOM IC705. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe here somewhere. The wing here has got uh, many connections on the back. So uh, one connection is uh, for RTTY code. Exactly, that's the outcome for RTTY code. And the other, which is marked key, is the key down or the PTT connector and the answer is very simple it turned to be that the uh, RTTY signal could be connected to the same CW paddle connector on ICOM IC705 and the PTT signal is, should be connected to the send ALC connector on the ICOM IC705. So it's nothing set in the manual about this functionality. And it took uh, me quite a bit of time of reading, I've read, and it, and it turned to be true that ICOM, in the model of ICOM IC705, is still kept the functionality of a CW connector being able to act as a RTTY key also in the mode of RTTY. So and that's the whole secret, but it's nothing set in the manual. The manual only says that you can do RTTY with this nice radio with your computer and the radio connected by the USB cable to your computer or you can do it stand in the standalone mode, like copying uh, RTTY decoding straight on the, on the color display and sending from the pre-recorded memories. Wink here is, is a really nice work around this problem, not wishing, not willing, or not being able to carry a computer with you if you just want you know to make some contacts being with the radio and you alone uh, so and you want to make rtty mode this is now possible the only thing you need to have with you one extra small box the wing keyer All right, so special call sign Italy, Italy to Whiskey Radio Tango Charlie answered my call. I, I got 599 when I transmit with the system. Uh, I don't see on the screen my, so to say, transmitted information, my message. I only can hear the uh, Morse code from the wing here, which I sent from my paddle. So, nothing to do about that. There is one way to control what, what I'm transmitting, is just take a look at the other receiver. If you've got another receiver like ICOM IC7300, for instance, or any, any other receiver capable of decoding your RTTY signal, so that's, that's no problem. See, 
I'm going to transmit from my key pedal. I'm transmitting now. It's all decoded. I'm transmitting pretty nicely. Would I transmit uh, from memories, like CQ, CQ, from, from my memory? So in this case, uh, we can see our signal here transmitted on the screen of, of uh, ICOM IC705, which is nice and convenient, of course. But it only works when uh, you transmit from the transmitter memory. So it only it only visible it, it only decodes its own transmitted signal in that case when it's transmitted from the memory. When I transmit from the keyer, well, let's go with my keyer to the transmit mode. Sending di da di da. And when here puts transceiver into transmit mode and sending diddle, and so now I can transmit CQ. So nothing we can see on the screen, nothing moves. So the only only Morse code is audible. The wink here method allows for to send exactly uh, the other station's call sign and of course the rest of information like you know report or equipment or my name or uh, all the rack chewing information which could be stored in 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 eight memories uh, during the contact of course could be sent from the memories no problems that's a big big uh, help and wink here uh, box. It's pretty compact, pretty lightweight, so I think this is really a good uh, a good way uh, to have more versatility doing the portable operations, not only CW and SSB, but also but also doing digital RTTY. Yes, he got me. So now I switch to manual. All right, got my name and everything. All right, so it works. So no more secrets for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comment in the comment sections. Are you still using RTTY radio teletype mode? Do you like it? Please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for that. For today, that's it. Thanks again, 73 till the next time. This is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.